Someone is very angry this morning and is shouting. I don't know who it is. And it's like just a little bit after eight. It's not even like for a weekend, it's early. We're going to breakfast with some friends. We went to the baseball game last night. It's the first baseball game that we've been back to at Balm Walker since COVID. It was a lot of fun. Is it coffee? I don't know. So I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm gonna go be social, which is a challenge for me to begin with. And to get these goobers fed. That light was just on, apparently. Sorry, distracted. Who's yelling, huh? Who's doing all the shouting this morning? So much headbutting. Tiny, get out of the way there, babe. Looking better. We're on, this will be day four of her treatment, so that's great. No worse. Actually starting to, poop starting to dry up, so that's great. Let me get these guys fed, and then I gotta get out of here. And then today we are gonna try to work out getting Zelda in with Bean. That's my goal today. That's the thing I want to do. It is supposed to storm tonight. So I've debated not doing it because of that reason, but I think we just need to go ahead and bite the bullet and do it. And it's going to rain tomorrow. So I need to just do it today because it's probably going to be my only opportunity. All right, ladies, let's get you fed so the human can go have breakfast. And Lincoln and pepperoni. You guys aren't ladies. You're not, I'm sorry. Okay, neither is Charlie. Let's go, guys. Guys, I have three more Mondays until school's out, and it's awesome. Everybody is definitely at that point in the year where they're just like ready to be done. And I am too. It's gonna be gorgeous today. It's gonna be 80 and sunny and then it's gonna storm and it's gonna rain tomorrow. And it rained yesterday. Well, it's just been really wet spring, which is really normal for us. It's just kind of how it goes. Maybe we'll be able to get the pigs their pool this weekend. That would be good. Buddy buddies. Waffles, come on, buddy. Come on, Waffles. Hello, buddies. Did your bowl finally dry out? call my neighbors. I think this little girl lives next door now and just comes over for treats in the morning. She does seem to eat here, but she really likes the neighbor's cat and hopefully she's way too friendly for them to think she's a stray, but I need to send them a picture of her and Shrub. Shrub never really leaves. The furthest she goes is like to our neighbor on the other side, which is much closer, but I think that little chickaroo has been over at the other neighbors. Just let them know like she's fine. You can send her home. All right, is it time to go out this morning? Yeah.
so I wonder who was in heat. Uh, not this guy. All right, girlies. Time to come out for the day, I guess. Y'all look real enthused. Yeah, I know. Look at Toffee. She's gonna be so pretty. She's gonna look so much like Padme. You are, aren't you, Toffs? Heads are healing nicely. No signs of scurs. Hi, Toot Toot, sweetheart. Ooh, hi, Crockett. Good morning, Coco. Good morning, Booty Bear. Good morning. Good morning, Rue. Gotta get out of here. See ya when I get back. Okay, have a nice day. Mom will see you this afternoon, okay? Yeah. She will, my sweet girl. She will. Okay, bye guys, be good. Okay, it's really windy. Sorry about that. I do have the little wind muff on, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. So we're gonna try to move Bean. I think both pigs are in the pig pen right now. So we may just have to lock all four of them in this, this pen today for now. And I may try to let the pigs out later. This is not sturdy enough, so I don't really have a choice. I can't really let them just be out. Like the only thing I could do is to block with this gate. The first thing to do is to close the gate and get Bean in the small pen. If I can get the pigs out, the problem is there's no shade here right now, so I can't really do that. They have to kind of stay where there's shade until I improve my structure right there. It does look like the pigs have trapped themselves in here. Not a huge deal. So we're gonna see how this goes. The first thing we're trying to do is just gonna separate Bean, which I don't think will be as hard as separating Lou, but I do have this to deal with. Hi. Oh my goodness. Uh, thanks for the tips about the black oil sunflower seeds. I knew that, like in my head, I knew that, but I just hadn't thought about it. We also need to apparently fill up water. So let me see if I can grab him real quick. I think they bumped the camera, but that actually went pretty easy. It's a little bit easier. Bean's a little bit more friendly. So when there's, ah, I'm sorry. She's not biting me, she's just pushing on me. She's really sweet. I know that some of you guys that really started with us later, we've had Toonie since she was a piglet and she has always been crazy friendly. Like she is a snuggle bug, wants to be with you all the time. Very typical Cooney Cooney, just loves you and wants to be loved all the time. So when she's in here doing all of this, I know that you guys that have come over with the breeding and her bad experience mothering her piglets and farrowing, she was really aggressive there for a while, but honestly lately, this is just how she is. She's not being aggressive toward me. She just really loves me and wants to be petted and loved on all the time. And if you just stop and love on her, this is what she does. And this is very, typical Cooney behavior. Hi. Did you just need some love? Was mama just ignoring you? Yeah. Can we look at your teeth to make sure Toonie's teeth look okay? Yeah. They do. You're a good pig. Can we look at your feet? You don't need any toe trims. Don't. They're nice and flat. They're nice and flat. You're a good girl. She's like I said. She's not being aggressive. She's just being a snuggly. You wouldn't think about it if a goat did it, because you know goats are not gonna hurt you really. She's just really super sweet, and she really loves to be loved on. So now I have to go get Zelda and bring her over here. And for today, we honestly just may leave everybody in this little pasture and not worry about letting anybody out, just so that everybody can kind of get comfortable. And then tomorrow I can work on pigs out, goats in, managing water. The big thing about having the pigs out here is shade number one. There's no shade in the middle part of the day and water. So what I would like to do is just strengthen this setup so that I don't have to worry about it. Bean will go through this in a heartbeat. It's okay, Zell.
So what I'm also going to do, say no, it's Nani. Come on, Nan. Is let these guys here. This will make it less stressful for her. Just for today, maybe for tomorrow. Come on, Charlie. Because we don't want to stress him out. So Bean can see his buddies. She's not in heat. And because I'm not going to put her in here for a couple of hours and then take her back out, it makes it a little bit more complicated. She's going to have to learn to share a house with the pigs. Not a huge issue. These pigs are very used to goats, you know. But she's not used to them. And so that's going to be a thing. She's already over here devouring the protein block, which is great. But all our friends are right here. It's going to be a little bit of a distraction for Bean. And if we have a goat in heat in the next day or two, it's not great. We'll only do this for a couple of days until she's really comfortable, feels really safe with them. I'll go in and get another, that extra bucket in there. We'll have four feed, pan, feed pans, mineral, water. She'll figure it out for a couple of days. There's enough grass in here to maintain all four of them for four days. And then we'll start working out, pigs out, or all of them out. Unless I am confident she's been bred. So you can tell right now she's not in heat. These two are not even remotely interested in each other. So if we have a day where he is super interested, there's a lot of mounting going on, we'll pull her after that day. My problem is I can't tell when she's in heat ever. So I need this to tell me when she's in heat and ready to breed. This will just be less stressful for her. Hopefully we're in the middle of a cycle. It'll take a couple of weeks. We'll have her out. We won't have to keep her in there until June. But if you have a tricky goat with heat, plan what month you want to breed them do this and I will tell you it's a little bit harder to tell even on the 90s some of the 90s in summer fall it's super easy everybody has really strong crazy heats she doesn't she's just it's not that she doesn't have good heat I mean she gets pregnant it's just simply the fact of it's hard for me as a human to tell it will not be hard for Bean to tell that's his job but you can see right now we're not remotely interested in each other She's a stronger willed goat, and that's something else I will say. If she's pretty dominant, she's pretty independent. It's not gonna hurt her feelings to be in here with these pigs. She's not gonna care that she's in here with this buck. She can see her friends. She'll feel good about it and, and feel safe. If you did this to Daisy, she would be absolutely panicking trying to get out of that fence. And it's always been the struggle. She, and for those of you who didn't know, and I didn't explain in that video, Daisy got really sick right after she had Violet and she almost died. She had a really bad infection and I'm almost at this point think that I, that infection may have disrupted her reproductive system to a point where she can't have kids anymore. Like she may have had such a severe infection that her ovaries and everything don't work correctly anymore. She literally almost died. Um, like the vet was very much preparing us for the fact that this goat is not going to make it. What I would like to do is have a porta hut for the pigs here so it's way too expensive for us to build another one of these little houses with wood right now and they they have portable pig huts that you can buy i would love to put one here in this and then this pasture could have a shelter and i could lock the pigs out here have my breeding couple in there or the reverse in the winter when pigs aren't grazing they could stay in their pig house i could have my goats breeding out here I could just have a lot of options if there's a shelter in this pasture and we could do that. Or if I had different pigs, long-term goals would be more pigs. That's great, I'm really happy. Bean seems happy, nobody seems upset. It'll be tonight. She'll wanna go back and, and sleep with her friends. She won't wanna sleep out here. So hopefully, we'll keep you guys updated. I will try to film on whatever day I see them having some romance. Bean has just become such a nice little buck. We've had him since he was about 18 months old and he has filled out and just become such a nice looking buck. That was really all I needed to do today. So I'm gonna go in and rest up a little and I've been working on some crochet and knitting projects and I've really enjoyed that. So that's what I'm gonna do for the afternoon. I did have one question for you guys. If you'll hit, up, hit me up in the comments, would you guys like a video where I explain basically what our cost is for all of this? It's something that like we've never really talked about. If you like a video on that, what would you like? Like how much is feed cost, vet care, like overall cost with fencing and barns and housing? Like if you were just gonna totally start up from scratch, is that something you guys would be interested in? My husband's an accountant. He does my books, so it wouldn't be super hard. We just did my books for last year, so it wouldn't be super hard for him to 
pull some of that information together for me to talk about with you guys. So if that's interesting to you, leave me a comment and let me know. I got the pigs their pool today. It is very windy outside though. So I have to wait till tomorrow to fill it up with them. So we'll be back tomorrow. It's just really windy and it was like everything that I could do to kind of like get it in my car and get it home without like blowing away. So I just decided I would, oh, we would fight that battle a different day. I also have all these three friends out here. Hello. Hi Milo. I know. Come on. Let's go. Toot Toot was out like an hour ago. Silly girl. But she will come up to you and be like, hey, can you put me back over the fence? Those guys, once they get out, get super freaked out and then will run away from you. But I think I have finally taught them to come to the gate and I'll just open the gate and let them run through. So everybody did really well today. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm sorry that you're in here with your boyfriend. You gotta kinda do it for a little while, okay? Yeah, if you get too stressed out, mama will come get ya. This is like what I don't like is that these two, he doesn't care about them because he's been in. She doesn't necessarily want to be around him either, but we did this last summer and it worked out. The pigs obviously weren't in there, so my hope is to get the pigs out and just put them out tomorrow. Even if we have to kind of leave it all open, just give her and Bean, give her break, make sure she's comfortable. We'll see if this works, it may not. It's just the best solution that I have at the moment. I forgot to close this up last night. Uh, obviously it was not a problem. I have this cat following me around. Uh, I don't think, did you show up for treats this morning? I think you did. It was last night. It was last night nobody showed up for treats because mom got home so late. Yes, the doggie was the only one. Okay, come on. Tomorrow, big pool. It is supposed to rain in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pool out and get water in it tomorrow, even if it's really not hot because they need it. And I need to quit swimming down here in the standing water. I need them to be in a spot with their pool. Hi, Bounty. Hi, Bounty Bear. Bounty Bear. Bounty Bear. Hi, Doo Doo. Hi, baby. Hi, my little babies. Hi, Toppers. Toppers and I are friends again. Milo and I are friends again. I don't know why he's shouting. I think because Zelda has run off. I don't really know why. This is his mom. Your mom's in here, Milo. Hello, Boone. My little pants eater. Bye, guys. Okay, let's get Tiny's medicine. She's been dried up really after I think the second or third day of treatment. She's been doing much better. All right guys, let's see you in the morning.